You know I love the American Express Blue Cash Preferred, but what if you're one of the millions of people that shop at Costco every single month or week or whenever you go shopping? Don't worry, there's actually a great card for you. What's up you guys, I'm Jacob Fisher and today we're talking about the Costco Anywhere Visa. And all right, two credit card videos in one week, that's unheard of but we're doing it. Don't worry for all these stock and option trading people out there. We're gonna be getting into that next week with a couple really fun videos that I think are gonna be exciting. Well, at least to me. Right now, let's smash the like button and get into the Costco Anywhere Visa by City or from City. For starters, let's go over the points and then get into how much you need to spend per month to see how much it covers of your Costco annual fee or membership fee, as they call it. The biggest category on this card is 4% on gas up to $7,000 and spend per year and then 1% after that. 3% on restaurants, that's cutting into the Chase Sapphire Reserve category, which gives you three points per dollar you spend on restaurants and travel. 2% on all purchases from Costco and 1% on everything else. This card doesn't have an annual fee, but you need to have a Costco membership to actually apply for it, so it pretty much does have an annual fee. Costco memberships are $60 and $120 for Gold Star and Gold Star Executive. You can also get a business membership plan, but we won't go too in depth into that one. It's just the same price and same perks, but you get to add people to it. You also need a Costco membership to actually go in the store and buy things from there. Trust me, I've tried to use a different membership ID that wasn't mine and they almost didn't let me check out. If you are deciding whether or not to get this card and have a Costco membership, then evaluate some of your purchases you make on gas, Costco, and the restaurant category. Let's do some quick math on this card to see how much is actually worth it. This is a bit of a tricky one because you could get the city double cash for 2% back on all of your purchases, but we're we're going under the assumption that you are a Costco member and that you will use the benefits of this card other than just the 2% back on Costco, so 4% on gas and whatnot. For the ease of access to understand how much you need to spend at Costco to pay for the annual fee, that's what we're going to be diving into in just a bit. First, we're going to take a quick look at Gold Star and Gold Star Executive and see what they give you. Gold Star Executive actually gives you 2% back at Costco on el eligible purchases. Wow, that is not fun to say. <laughs> so Gold Star is $60. Gold Star Executive is $120. Plus you get two, an extra 2%. So 4% total cash back on the Gold Star Executive category. Or I should say, if you are a Gold Star Executive member, then you get 4% cash back on Costco purchases. At $250 a month spend at Costco, you get $5 back a month or $60 a year on the Gold Star level. Now that will pay for your membership. And if you think about it, you get double the cash back. So you get $120 cash back for Gold Star Executive. So that actually pays for that membership too. At $300 a month spend, you get 72 back at the end of the year or $12 cash back after the membership fee is gone. Gold Star Executive executive is $144 cash back or $24 after the membership fee is taken off. So really, if you spend $300 a month at Costco, it's worth it to get the Gold Star Executive and the Costco Anywhere Visa because you will get much more cash back by shopping at Costco that way. It also just seems like you should have this card if you shop at Costco and spend more than $250 a month because that'll pay for your annual fee no matter which member you are. The membership literally just pays for itself at that point from your spend on Costco purchases. Should you go out and get a Costco membership because you want this card so much? Well, honestly, you probably shouldn't do that just to get the card because it's not worth it to go to Costco and then only go to Costco because you need to spend that much on groceries. Plus Costco, you need to buy things in bulk. So if that's something that fits you and you do need to buy things in bulk for generally cheaper than grocery stores, it actually is a good place to go shopping. But again, it should be close to you. You don't want to drive two hours to go to Costco. That just seems like a waste of time. The nice thing about this card is it's actually, it's super simple on whether or not you should get it. Do you spend $250 a month at Costco? Yes, you should because it pays for your annual fee. 
Do you spend $300 a month at Costco? You should upgrade to Gold Star Executive and get this card because you will get more cash back overall. That's pretty much it. You know, just those are the rewards you get and then you can add in your gas purchases. If the average American spends $2,000 on gas per year, you would get $80 cash back at the end of the year on gas, which is really nice. You can get more cash back overall using multiple credit cards. And if you want to find out how, just click the video up in the corner because you can make over $700 in cash back per year. I upload videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on travel and finance. So if that sounds like something of interest to you, then consider subscribing down below. Also, leave me a comment down below if you shop at Costco. I don't, and I just kinda wanna know how many people or how many people who watch this shop at Costco. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.